So I've been promising to do a tutorial on gilding for quite some time um, and I thought I would just quickly show you how I add gold to my artwork but it's actually a little bit more complicated. When I sat down to work it out I realised that I'm probably better off doing a quick introduction into the different types of gold and various things like that um, and then do some further videos where I show you how to apply the gold size and then how to apply the gold. So if you're not familiar with my work you can go and check out my feed there's lots of examples on there but um, basically I'm a silversmith and an artist based in a rural part of England in Somerset um, and I love painting and then adding gold to my artwork. So here's an example this is one of my um, flower letters that I've been working on and you can see how the gold just makes the, the whole thing pop. So originally I am an antique restorer. Um, I have a science degree in restoration and conservation of antiques um, and I worked in the industry for several years. Um, but I, so I've been gilding on and off for over 20 years. So the pieces that I was working on when I was an antique restorer were hard bits of furniture. So gilding onto um, wooden surfaces that don't bend. But I wanted to be able to gild onto a surface so that it was flexible. So this wasn't a skill I had, so I um, had to do some research and try and find the best way of doing it. I'm not an expert. Um, I can do the things that I can do, but I am happy to share with you the techniques and tools and materials that I use. Um, and then you can benefit from my mistakes. So I use different tools and materials depending on what job I'm doing and what effect I want to have. Um, I'm not going to go into all of those now but I'll show you the two main different types of gold. So you've got transfer leaf and loose leaf. So this is a sheet of transfer leaf. So it's a very 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 thin layer of gold but it comes adhered to this um, piece of paper um, and you can see I can pick it up and I can move it around quite easily using the paper. Um, you can then press it onto the surface. So gilding with um, transfer leaf you don't need as many tools as you do for the loose leaf method um, but I find it doesn't give as good a shine. This is loose leaf so again, it comes in a little book like the transfer, but it's not adhered to the paper. So it is literally loose gold. It's a very, very thin sheet of loose gold. Um, I can't just pick that up with my fingers. If I tried to pick that up with my fingers, it would just scrunch up into a tiny little ball and be unusable. So with loose leaf, you need um, some more tools. So um, things like Gilder's pad, knife and a tip, which is a special brush for picking it up. Um, but if I show you, it's quite difficult to do on the camera, but if I pick up that little bit, you can see how thin and light it is. Um, and just the tiniest little breath in the wrong place will make it fly off. So, um, like I said, depending on the, see what I mean, depending on the job in hand, um, I would use loose leaf or transfer leaf, but um, loose leaf does require the investment in the tools and also an investment in time um, with practice. So if you're not quite ready to throw yourself into using loose leaf, um, you can quite easily use transfer leaf. So here's an example of a piece done with transfer leaf. So you can see it does shine and it is it is beautiful. Um, it's just not quite the same as the shine on that. So you can see how they both compare. So this one is done using um, uh, an acrylic gold size. So when I say the word size all the time, 
what I mean is glue. It's size is the name for a special glue that will make the gold stick to it. That method is a great quick way to add gold to your artwork. But the more I did, the more I wanted it to have a real shine. So this is a piece of traditional water gilding that I did years ago. And you can see the lovely shine on it, but it's on a hard surface. So this one, we're going down, it's a bit of a minefield. But so this one um, is a substance called gesso, which is a mixture of um, rabbit skin glue and whiting and water. Um, and you can paint it on and then sand it very smooth. And then you put on, if you can see the, the little bits of red. So that is a substance called bowl, which is a special clay, which you then put onto the gesso and you get that really smooth um, and then you water gild on top um, and then you can burnish it with a special agate burnisher so that was the sort of effect that I wanted to get on paper but I didn't know how to do it it doesn't mean it can't be done it's just that it wasn't in my skill set um, so for hundreds of years um, people have been gilding this is um, the Hastings Book of Hours um, and illuminated manuscripts are good examples of gilding onto flexible surfaces. So there are lots of artists out there who are um, using gesso. So gesso was the substance that I used on this one, um, but you can make a flexible form of it. Um, but it was too big a learning curve for me and too much mess. My studio is quite small and quite full. So I wanted to try and find another alternative and that is when I stumbled across this magical stuff which I'm not going to be able to pronounce so you can have a laugh at me um, it's called Col Colna Miniatum I think that's how you say it um, so I found a company called Gold Leaf Supplies um, who sell this and it works quite like the acrylic size but gives you this lovely shine when you use it with loose leaf. So I did quite a lot of um, test samples, um, little patches, so I had to work out exactly how long to leave it to dry, um, how it worked on different surfaces, so a very textured paper or a very smooth paper, um, and whether it worked best with loose leaf or transfer leaf. So I decided um, that the best way to do it was with the loose leaf because you can use um, you can get these special cloths again from gold leaf supplies um, little colna instacol um, cloths which you can once you've gilded it you can rub over and it's a little bit like burnishing water gilding um, it just brings up the shine so I think I've probably wittered on for long enough now um, in this video uh, in the next video I plan on doing, I will show you how to apply the um, uh, Colna Miniatum uh, to an artwork. And then I think I'll probably do another video after that to show you how to work with the loose leaf and how to apply it.